On the dish this morning, Jay's Artisan Pizza. The unlikely story of two guys from Western New York shooting up the rankings of best pizza in the world. We noticed the top 50 pizza list this year, an industry standard, most of the pizzerias were in Naples and Rome, a few in New York City and Paris. Then there's one in Buffalo, Kenmore, New York, to be specific. How did that happen? To find out, you have to speak with Jay and Joe. Joe Powers is a 24-year-old pizza prodigy. He studied first under restaurateur Jay Langfelder before rounding out his training in Naples. This year on the world's most respected pizza ranking list curated by three Italians, the shop Jay started and Joe now runs came in at 71st best pizza in the world and 13th in the United States. Joe was always asking questions. He wanted to know what you were doing. You know, it wasn't just make the pizza. He wanted to know why. He wanted to know why we did things a certain way. And that made you believe that he could do this by himself. I, I he already was. It was, it was fun and like it's, it's been a really good experience like learning how to like, I guess be myself, you know. Joe and Jay's rapid rise to global pizza superstardom gave us a chance to do an Americanized dish dive into the world of traditional Neapolitan style. For the uninitiated, the difference between Neapolitan pizza and the pizza you normally would have delivered to your house. So a Neapolitan pizza is cooked extremely hot and extremely fast. So it's gonna be much softer and kind of a puffy cornichon and it's gonna be a lot fresher of a pizza than something you get in a box that was baked for eight or 10 minutes. So ideally these are eaten within minutes of coming out of the oven. Pizza meant to be eaten hastily is best prepared exactingly. So I'm just gonna dump that in there. We're just gonna put uh, 10 grams of yeast in, yep. and you're gonna kind of like rub it in between your hands. So we're just gonna go like that, and it's just gonna fall right into the water. So then we're going to weigh out all of the flour. This is a uh, Caputo double zero flour. What's double zero? Double zero is just like the type of flour that it is. If you're going by like Neapolitan pizza, like traditions, double zero flour. Start it. We'll come back in seven minutes and see what it looks like. Okay. Once the mixture was complete, Joe formed the dough into 12 perfectly smooth round balls before introducing us to another time-honored tradition. This is the Neapolitan slap. Yes, yeah, all the pizza in Naples. Stretch pizza like that. So that looks about good. Then we're gonna bring it right there, about a 12-inch disc. Next, my turn. So now you're gonna get your, your hand like this, yeah. three fingers underneath, and yeah. you're like throwing it, and then you're also rotating it. Throw and rotate. Yep. Throw. So throw it over, yeah, rotate it, yep. Hey, if it was easy, everybody would do it, right? That's close. Whoops. Yeah. Now it was time to give our pie a little taste of the old country. So we're gonna do one scoop of the tomatoes that we get from um, Italy. Then we're gonna go with a little Parmigiano Reggiano. Gives it a little bit of saltiness, a little bit of bite. This is some basil that we get from somebody locally who, who grows it uh, hydroponically. It's, it's really, really great basil. And then we have a little bit of uh, fresh mozzarella. I'm just gonna spread it. Oh, yeah. Spread it out like that. Do you want me to put it on the peel and you launch it in the oven. No, I'm doing the whole thing. Doing the whole thing? Yeah. All right. You're gonna slide, you're gonna go one quick motion, slide right underneath, you're gonna lower, lower your backhand, keep this flush to the table and you're gonna go straight through it. I, <laughs> yeah, like, like- Damn it. it. Like I said. You, now you just do it the right way. The if at first you don't succeed, ask a pro. Oh, you did it perfectly. Yeah. Okay. All that was left was to launch it into the oven. Yeah. Find your spot, put it on it, and then one quick motion out. Yep, angle it down and pull it. There you go. Like a samurai. Yeah. And only about 60 seconds later, our Neapolitan pizza was ready to eat. Mm. 
the classic margarita was served along with an andouille pizza with chili honey and basil, fungi with confit garlic and truffle pecorino, the zucca with butternut squash puree, maple syrup, and pumpkin seeds, and a pesto Neapolitan with roasted tomatoes. Joe also threw in a Detroit style with cherry peppers. For dessert, panna cotta. What is it about Neapolitan pizza that you thought would work so well? You know, I had worked in Buffalo pizzerias for forever, and I love Buffalo style pizza as much as the next guy, but I just felt like this area was missing all these other varieties of pizza that you can find across the world and in the U.S. I mean, it seems crazy to say, but is the goal, is the goal eventually to have the number one pizza? It's a goal, but it, I, I don't know. It's not the number one goal. Well, like, it isn't, it isn't. <laughs> well, when Joe, Joe called me to tell, uh, tell me that they were 13 in the U.S., oh, yeah. though, the, I think the first thing that came to both of our minds is, how do we get in the top five? Yeah, top five, yeah. <laughs> I want to know what the top five are. There, well, it's a lot. It's a lot of Rome, Naples. It's all. It's European pizzas. There's some in New York City, but this is why it was. Yeah, I just thought amazing. it was so interesting. Yeah. and I don't have it here because, I, as we explained in the piece, you have to make it. Yeah, and right eat away. Six I owe you. Second. I owe you a Neapolitan pizza. You yeah. do, Jeff. They look delicious. Look great. <laughs>